This is a great activity for the start of the year where you're going to use regulation, maybe rotations to introduce coping skills, maybe your calming area, fidgets and expectations for students. So what you would do is you'll set a timer, maybe five, 10 minutes at each station and students will rotate throughout to learn about your coping skills, the calming area, the fidgets, the expectations for this type of activity when they need a break. So the first thing is students can explore these amazing task cards um, that were created by Wholehearted School Counseling. And they can kind of see different ways to cope. And they can kind of just go over these maybe with a partner. They could also maybe lay them out to like an order of they would do this first to last. So kind of up to you. And then after that, they're going to create a plan. So once they create a plan, they are going to look at maybe five strengths to overcome challenges. Then they're going to think about their four coping strategies that they're going to use. They're going to think of maybe people that can help them or who they're grateful for. <clears throat> and then they're going to think of two ways that they can approach challenges effectively, plan, and what they're going to do. The next station is the fidgets. So they're going to explore, maybe you have a bin of different fidgets and they're going to think about what fidget they might like to use and when they might use that fidget. Then they're going to have a calming area where they might explore the calming area. They might um, just play or touch some of the different activities in there. And then they are going to explain how they might communicate with their teacher a plan to use this area. Are they going to say, hey, I need to use a calming area. How are they going to communicate to you? Maybe it's a Google form. Um, maybe the students just get up and go. And then the last station is they're going to watch a video about the expectations for all of these different areas. And after that, they're going to complete an exit ticket. And on this exit ticket, um, you're trying to see what should their voice level be at um, when they're at the calming area. And then what's the materials that they plan on using? Maybe they plan on using a fidget. And then their plan. So how are they going to ask? How are they going to ask you? They're going to write how they plan on doing that so that it's calm and respectful. And then they are going to come up with a plan for when they are. So are they going to set a timer? Do they get 10 minutes, five minutes? How long will they stay? Will they clean up? And then you can add additional talking points here for them to create their plan. And then after that, students should be able to use that station um, in your room, that coping area, whenever you have it open or when they ask appropriately to use it. So again, this is just kind of going over the expectations and teaching students when and how to use the different coping skills, the fidgets, and the calming area in your classroom.